Hey, what's good y'all, it's Stinger, and today I'm gonna be showing each and every one of you all the tools you need to make a Breakins type beat. And sorry if my voice sounds weird, I went to the Breakins concert a couple of days ago and my voice is actually just shot so without any further ado let's just get right to it so for this tutorial i'm going to be listing off all the things you need and showing them in context with a beat so the first thing you're going to need for a break type beat is a midwest emo math rock guitar loop and i'm going to show you exactly where you can find them so there are two places I'll get my Midwest emo guitar loops from. The first place is the most reliable and they are the best quality being from Scro. Scro is a super talented guitarist and he puts out these packs with some beautiful Midwest emo guitar loops. So this is one of the loops that I used in this beat. Tell me that doesn't just scream break-ins. And the second place you could find guitar samples for these kind of beats is the Midwest Emo Instrumental Playlist on Spotify. This playlist has 220 songs and all of them are instrumental so you don't have to worry about vocals interfering in the sample. Although most of them do have drums and it takes a long time to scan through and find the perfect sample. I've made a couple break-ins type beats using this method, but the only downsides is that you'll have to deal with like sample usage. Like you'll have to clear the sample if the song goes major and it just takes a really long time to find the right sample. So while this is a free alternative to Scrows loops, you just really gotta balance the pros and cons and see what's right for you. The second thing you're gonna need for break type beats is some kind of glitch sounds or loops. Now I wasn't able to find any glitch sounds anywhere else, so I made them on my own. I have two kits currently available for glitch sounds. The first one is free and it's my mainframe glitch pack. In that I have 100 glitch one shots that you could use to construct your own glitch loops. And that one's 100% free if you want it, you can go in the link in the description and grab it. Now the alternative to that is my binary glitch pack and that one has 30 glitch one shots and 30 glitch loops so the loops are already constructed you don't even need to make them on your own so here's an example of what one of the glitch loops sound like And that pack is 15 bucks if you want it. Yet again, it's in the link in the description. It's kind of along the same lines of like scroll loops and Midwest emo instrumental loops. There's pros and cons. One of them is free, but it'll take more time to construct the loop. And then the other one is paid, but it's a lot more efficient. So yet again, it's just personal preference. The next thing you're gonna need are creative drum samples. Never in a break and type beat are you gonna hear like the Luger slap clap or like the no lie snare. All of the sounds are super high quality and super unique. And I know I'm plugging a bunch of my kits here but for the majority of the drums i used my zenith multi kit yet again that's something you can grab in the link in the description it doesn't have a cover art yet because i'm still getting that worked on but that kit includes a drum kit with 100 custom sounds made in serum as well as a loop kit with 10 hyper pop loops and a serum bank with 50 serum presets and now that i'm done with the shameless self-promotion let's go over some alternative kits one that i really really enjoy and that i've used for a long time is love yosha's hyper pop kit and instead of me describing the kit let me just show you it like, listen to these snares. Like, that is some perfect stuff for breaking type beats. Another kit that I like to use is the Daria Core Drum Kit Volume 3. I'm not 100% sure where I found it, but there are some super cool and unique sounds in here. So this is what the guitar, that glitch loop, and those creative drums all sound like in context with a beat. All right, the next thing that you're gonna need for a Breakins type beat is a frequency shifter plugin. Breakins uses frequency shifting a lot on his melodies and frequency shifting just affects the tone of a sound without changing its pitch. The plugin that I use for frequency shifting is M Frequency Shifter. It's 100% free and I just automate the shift knob. And then after that, I just toy around with some automation to create some cool patterns. So this is what the guitar sounds like with that frequency shifting. All right, the next thing that I use for this beat isn't exactly essential for a break type beat, but I like to use it to create some variation. And that is Shaper Box 3. All I'll do is I'll go through the presets and either apply them to my melody or my master or my drums. And it has a bunch of cool effects that I could use for fills or that I could use to chop up the melody in a cool way. So for the second portion on the guitar, I use the beat repeat preset on Shaper Box. And this is what that sounds like. The 
the next thing that you're gonna need is some kind of switch up. Breakins' songs tend to sound like four songs just squished into one. And that amount of variation keeps listeners listening throughout the whole song. So for the switch up, I replaced the guitar melody with this brand new piano melody. And then I also introduced a new glitch loop. So this is what that switch up sounds like. And the last thing you're gonna need for a Breakins type beat is an acoustic drum VST. I like to use SSD Sampler 5, which is 100% free. It only has three kit presets though, and it does require quite a bit of mixing, but I found it to be the best, most authentic sounding acoustic drum VST. And here yet again, we are tying in the aspect of a switch up. So I'm switching from this piano guitar combo melody into a completely new guitar melody with a completely new tempo and some completely new drums. So here's what that switch up sounds like. Throwing in something like this really brings the energy straight to the roof. And the final thing you're gonna need for a Breakins type beat is a vocal spoken word sample. And there are two places you can get them from. Splice has a bunch of really cool spoken word samples such as these ones. All for you. Are we dreaming? Look into my eyes. But since Splice isn't a free service, let me offer you a free alternative. For this beat, I use SampleSwap.org. And in their sample library under speech, vocal, and acapella, they have a bunch of spoken word folders under different like contexts. Like they have female spoken word, they have NASA space shuttle communications, they have UFO and science fiction stuff. Like there's a bunch of really cool sounds in here. And not to mention this site is 100% free. So to start the beat off, I just play this spoken word sample. The power of a new generation. So that is going to pretty much cover everything that you need to make a Breakins type beat. Hopefully you enjoyed- I am way off center. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial and learned something new. If you have any questions, please feel free to throw them in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer them. Also, if you like this beat and you want to listen to the full version, you can check it out on my SoundCloud and the link in the description. Also, feel free to subscribe. I post two tutorials every single week, one long one and one short one. Other than that, that's going to be it. Peace.